Okay, good morning. Today is December 13th. This is a regularly scheduled meeting of the County Board of Supervisors. We want to welcome all of you here. Pamela Patterson, and um, I was mayor last night and we switched, so now I'm a council member, just to clarify that. But um, I'm speaking to you on behalf of uh, the city of San Juan Capistrano, so uh, I am on, on the council. I also serve on the San Onofre um, generating the power plant, the community engagement panel. And there is great concern with respect to the safety of that plant. And so I am encouraging the supervisors here to place this on the agenda. We have, first of all, the power plant was closed due to mismanagement and it is an ultra hazardous condition. We have 50 times the radiation of Chernobyl stored there and it's improperly stored. The casks that um, they are presently stored in are susceptible to cracking, which allows radiation to escape. And they, based on the age that they are now, they're moving into that um, area where the cracking will occur. So it's, we all feel in, in, in Orange County and in San Diego that we're safe with respect to the, to the power plant right now, but that is far from the truth. So it's important that the Board of Supervisors um, has, has it on the agenda, has a hearing with respect to exactly what's going on there so that you get fully informed of the issues. And um, so that's why I'm here this, this morning to encourage that you do that. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mark Patterson. Uh, we, we can't comment on this today, but I think we can request our staff to bring this back at a future date for review. It's been some time since we looked at this. We share your concerns, and uh, maybe we can uh, bring it back, have an update on what is happening. There was something I just read that gave us a glimmer of hope that maybe there's going to be a solution out there for us, but I'd like to do that. So we'll continue with the speakers. Uh, good morning. I've been uh, looking at San Onofre for many years. I, last week I attended four days of Nuclear Regulatory Commission hearings. Sir, would you please state your name for that? Uh, Ace Hoffman. Thank you. And uh, I, I want you to know a few things about what's going on there. First of all, there's really no chance that the waste is going to be moved. So the most important thing to do right now is to put it in stronger dry casks. Second of all, they had a hearing about the cement. And there's no way to inspect that the cement uh, overpack that's being built. You can't get under, underneath it to look at what kind of damage. You can't tell if there's anything going on. The NRC was, a, a, they have no experts even on cement. So they're completely taking the industry's word for it. Well, the industry is only offering you a 10 year warranty on that island, that cement island. There's a 25 year warranty on the dry casks, but the Nuclear Regulatory Commission is expecting them to be there for as much as 200 or 300 years because there is no place to put it. Yucca Mountain was canceled. It's gonna stay canceled because at the time it was canceled, there were well over 300 uh, scientific problems with it that had not been resolved. Uh, Nevada had come up with about three, 297, I think it was, and California had another 20 or so. Or so. Uh, water going underneath it, water dripping from on top. They wanted to build uh, uh, titanium drip shields four inches thick, but they had no way to support them to keep them from falling onto the things. And even if the casks were to be moved to Yucca Mountain, they'd probably stay outside for hundreds of years as they move them in a little bit at a time. So there are no good solutions to the waste. It's a wonderful thing that we closed down the plant. Uh, I wrote this book uh, about 10 years ago after I got, uh, after I had bladder cancer, and I'm not a smoker, uh, radiation is a possible cause of it. My wife has had breast cancer. So we're very concerned about what effects might occur if that waste at San Onofre is released. And I hope you take a look at the book. It has never been corrected by anyone, and hundreds of employees at San Onofre alone have seen it. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Patricia Borschman. I live in Escondido. I want to thank the board for opportunity to address you this morning. Um, I am also here regarding safety concerns at San Onofre, and I especially want to thank the uh, elected official from San Juan Capistrano for appearing before the board this morning to express uh, concerns that uh, are credible, I think, uh, from Orange County, and I, I hope that the 
Board of Supervisors representing San Diego County will uh, be open-minded and uh, open to um, scheduling a, a subsequent hearing. Uh, there's a lot of important issues. Um, I've been distressed by hearing some uh, informal comments to the extent that uh, a lot of times I think supervisors think that the hard work and heavy lifting has already been done because the plant has been closed. I think that that uh, is uh, in inaccurate. There's a lot of work still to be done and it's, uh, I, stakeholders here in San Diego County deserve to be represented and to the extent that the community engagement panel has been operating for almost two years already. Um, we have been underrepresented. Uh, I know Supervisor Horn, you've been designated as the uh, member to represent the Board of Supervisors for San Diego County, and your attendance has been very poor. And so we are often faced with an empty seat, and uh, you know, I think that it's important for the remainder. There's, there's a lot of work that the community engagement panel is going to need to continue to be doing. And I want to thank this board for your action late last year in taking uh, inter steps to intervene in the County of San Diego's emergency response plans and taking action to coordinate uh, funding contributions from Edison's to the county's emergency planning. Thank you. I am Robert Poop, a geologist with publicwatchdogs.org. I appreciate you all taking the time today to listen to our concerns. In 96 days, Edison will begin burying more than 32 million pounds of high-level nuclear waste just 36 yards from high tide adjacent to San Onofre State Beach. The risk of earthquake at this location and subsequent disaster are far too great to ignore. The Newport Inglewood Fault is located just six miles offshore. Recent studies revealed that this, this fault extends all the way through the continental crust to the mantle of the Earth. An earthquake on this fault could be as destructive as a worst case scenario earthquake on the San Andreas Fault. State and federal geological surveys now recognize the potential of an 8.2 magnitude earthquake on the Newport Inglewood Fault. Burial of the waste at the beach removes all of our emergency, emergency engineering response options that are currently available to limit the magnitude of a continuing disaster. A worst case scenario will cause devastating, long lasting health impacts through airborne release of radioactive waste, could adversely impact the coastal waters of San Diego County, um, and would make I-5 and the coastal rail lines potentially impassable. I urgently ask you to consider what's going on and intervene. Block this burial of high-level nuclear waste from occurring. Save us from the devastating consequences that will result if an earthquake occurs. And take a stand for safe interim storage options at a seismically safer location. Thank you. My name is Peter Stout. I'm a native San Diegan. Uh, I represent uh, a group called Post Ignorance. Um, we're a nonprofit uh, anti nuclear group um, based out of Utah, ironically. Um, <clears throat> see here. We are, our aim is to rid the world of the nightmare of nuclearism in all of its pernicious forms, be it nuclear power plants or heinous nuclear weapons. We are for human rights, peace, and the health and safety of future generations. Um, uh, our group would like to urge this body to get involved with the removal of waste from San Onofre and the whole decommissioning pro process. Um, and that's about all I have to say. Thank you very much. We're fortunate to have Chair Roberts uh, both sit on this board as well as SANDAG and MTS. And at that same meeting uh, with Supervisor Jacobs, also the chair of the San Diego Supervisor Subcommittee on San Onofre, WTO's Legislative Committee presented a second, second written request from our WTS Board of Directors to put San Onofre on this December board agenda. The request was denied yet again. The same day, I drove north to attend Edison's quarterly community engagement panel meeting in Dana Point. 
not only was there a board member there from the Orange County Board of Supervisors on the CEP panel, but two reps from the Orange County Emergency Services. One even made an emergency planning presentation and answered questions. Since there was no representation whatsoever from San Diego Board of Supervisors, nor the San Diego Emergency Services, I'll provide an update on one of the many things that you missed. Edison's presentation that night revealed that yet again, the California Coastal Commission can special condition number two, a requirement, it's not a wish list, it's a requirement of that permit of an aging management system to monitor those casts is still under development. Since this requirement of the special condition of that California, California Coastal yeah. Commission can't be met, we implore that this Nina, County Board of Supervisors suggest well time limit. the yeah. permit should be revoked immediately. Thank, Thank you. you. Speaker, please. Hi, I'm Charles Langley, Executive Director of Public Watchdogs, and I'd like to talk about burial of nuclear waste at San Onofre. Essentially, if we allow this burial, we will lose a powerful partner in funding, finding and funding permanent solutions to our nuclear waste. Allowing Southern California Edison to bury the waste absolves a multi-billion dollar player from billion, with billions in resources sources from seeking a solution to the nuclear waste problem. And we know some facts about this waste. One, it's being stored in containers that are only guaranteed to last 25 years. Two, the temporary permit for the beach from the federal government is for 200 years. And three, the waste is toxic to humans for 10,000 generations. Thank you for listening. Thank you.